Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to what I eat in a day. I wanted to make this a weekend edition because I'm going to show you what I typically eat in a day as a vegetarian and then tomorrow is my brother's 16th birthday and we're going to be eating like takeaway food and we're going to be going out for food and it's just going to be like a rubbish eating day and I kind of wanted to break away from the stereotype that we just eat vegetables as vegetarians so I wanted to show you if you still want to indulge and eat rubbish food and, and just binge you can still do that as a vegetarian there are plenty of fast food rubbish food you can eat as a vegetarian but I'm not promoting that I'm just saying that there are two options but today is my you know basic what I eat in a day and I'm not gonna make this exciting I'm not gonna have like fruit bowls avocado on toast like a nice selection variety I'm just gonna be honest and realistic um that's why I've got simple in the title of this video and if I haven't then this is gonna be very simple so simple that I'm starting my day off with just some bagels and I I like these videos more because I honestly just can't be bothered to make an extravagant breakfast. I want to get up, I want to have a quick fix, so I get my bagels, put them in the toaster and put some butter on them, get a glass of orange juice and I'm sorted. So let's go make my breakfast. <music> currently half one two and this is around the time what i have my lunch sometimes i forget and have it at like three not good but um i find bagels quite heavy in the morning so i get really full and then i kind of forget to have lunch but we're actually going to tesco so i'm gonna go now with my mum which is perfect because i can show you one of my favorite lunches to have which again isn't exciting but it's easy and i like it it tastes nice and it's very filling We've just a second come back from the shops because we've bought ingredients and stuff for the spag bowl we're going to have later tonight. So we'll show you guys how to make that and stuff, if, especially if you're like a new veggie and you want to see how to make spag bowl, how to make it taste just as good. Because whenever I go to restaurants and I have the vegetarian option, it can taste quite bland. But we add like spices, garlic, you know, stuff like that. So we'll show you the process. But yeah, so we've just been to Tesco's as well, like I said we would, and I've picked up my lunch, so let me show you guys now. For lunch, one of my favourite lunches to have is the Tesco's cheese and tomato pasta. I don't know what it is, but something about this just hits different. It tastes so nice, honestly. Even if you're not a vegetarian, definitely try out cheese and tomato pasta from Tesco's. Nice. And yes, I have a tiny wincy bites, but I literally have bites that big, but it lasts so much longer because look how thick. Lasts so much longer and also you get fuller quicker. And um, I always have people take the mick out of me saying, you eat so slow. Well, I'm not hungry. Now I've had my lunch, I'm obviously not very hungry at all, but um, we're going to start making the spag bowl now because my boyfriend's coming around tonight, so obviously we wanna make sure the dinner's ready before he comes. And he's also gonna be having pesto pasta. Oh, I love pesto pasta. It's also one of his favorites, but I just really feel like a spag bowl tonight. And um, my brother doesn't like pesto pasta. I have two brothers and it's just kind of awkward. So sometimes my mum does make two separate meals. Um, obviously any leftover pesto pasta I'll have or my boyfriend will take it to uni with him. So she's gonna be making the pesto pasta, but I wanna focus on the spag bowl um, just because for this day in my life, that's what I wanna focus on. And I feel like it's more interesting, more complex than pasta and like fried vegetables as nice it is, but I'll still show you my boyfriend's meal later. But yeah. Firstly, I start off by cutting up some onions and then cutting up some peppers, getting the vegetables out of the way. And we'll be doing mushrooms later because they cook a lot faster. Oh, 
Once I finally figured out how to put the onions and peppers into the oiled pan, I then grabbed a spoonful of Marmite, put that into the jug, added boiling water and kept stirring and stirring and stirring and then added two vegetable oxo cubes and then crunched those in and then also stirred after each one and then i went back to the vegetables and mixed them around a bit after adding a sprinkle of salt and then a sprinkle of black pepper maybe three times and garlic granules i then went over and started cutting up the mushrooms i really really don't like mushrooms and my mum when she makes bag bot, i can never taste the mushrooms in it um so very cheeky but just make sure they're really finely cut put them in the pan as well get out the corn mints put the mints on top of the cooking vegetables and then you can just mix that all together now it's time to use the marmite and the boiling water from earlier and it helps break up the mints and then some chopped tomatoes then rinse the can out and use any leftover tomato juice to pour over the remainder of the food and then i added two spoonfuls of sugar just again to add some more flavor and then gave that all a good stir I then added a sprinkling of salt into a separate saucepan and some boiling water halfway up and then some spaghetti. We usually taste it and if we feel like it needs more flavor, more this, more that, then we'll just add it as we go along. We just added some salt and some pepper and now we're adding some paprika. I then grabbed the Bisto gravy granules and that just helps get rid of the liquid and make it much thicker. Turned that off, grabbed the spaghetti when that was done and then I drained it. And then after the spaghetti was drained, I then served it into bowls and then grabbed the mince and it was all ready. So this is the finished spag bowl. We usually have a sprinkling of cheese over the top, but I'm not going to do that today because we think I might have an intolerance to dairy, but we're just still trying to figure that out and see if it's actually an issue. But my boyfriend's actually having pesto pasta with garlic bread. And I thought I'd show you guys like the two options of what you can have for dinner as a vegetarian meal. Obviously, this is very like typical with pasta, veg and stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed seeing the process of how I make this spag bowl. I just wanted to show you guys that you can still have like meat made meals, but you can just replace it with corn. Also, this is actually my brother's. He's having some leftover meatballs and spaghetti that we had last night. So again, this is something else that you guys can have. Usual meaty meals can just be replaced with corn replacements and it still tastes just as good. And like I said, if you go to restaurants and stuff and it tastes a bit bland, it's just because they're not using the right ingredients. Like this food is still just as tasty. Also, I keep saying corn, but again, this can also be replaced with soy products if you are vegan. So that brings us to the end of what I eat in a day. I don't really tend to snack throughout the day. I think it's because I guess my meals are quite substantial, like having bagels and orange juice and then having pasta and then having my spag bol. I don't really snack. Um, and if I do, it's usually evening time, you know, when you just get really like peckish and I'll usually have like a banana or an apple and stuff. Um, I know, not that exciting, but I think drinking a lot and eating slower has really helped me not snack because I used to be quite a snacker. Um, it's quite a snacker <laughs> but um yeah so i will catch you guys up tomorrow and tomorrow is gonna be my more hectic eating day although i feel like i've hyped up way too much we're literally just going out for a meal and then having a takeaway but i'll see you guys tomorrow morning hello everyone welcome to day two the final day of what i eat in a day and today is my brother's 16th birthday like I said previously, today was going to be a rubbish eating day, so I'm going to start off my breakfast just simply with a bowl of cereal because I know I'm going to be having a Nando's, Chinese takeaway food, so I just feel like something light for breakfast. But instead, I thought I'd show you what my boyfriend is eating because I want to show you the unhealthy side of a vegetarian, I guess. Um, so I'm just going to be making him a cooked breakfast. But yeah, I am vlogging today, so if you guys are interested, it was definitely last week's video where I filmed a week in my life. So I'll put that in a card up here if you guys are interested, but I'm just going to put some clothes on, put my makeup on, and then I'll go make some breakfast. <music>
and some scrambled egg and beans on toast. We were going to use corn sausages, but we're also going out for Nando's today, so we didn't want to like overdo it and eat too much for breakfast because I've, I used to love cook breakfast like this, but it just feels too heavy now, especially for having Nando's in Chinese. So I made him like a smaller version of what we would have. Like sometimes we have hash browns, like I said, sausages and we usually go all out, but for this, it's really simple. Just some scrambled egg and beans because we're going to have a very heavy eating day. I got a beanie wrap from Nando's, medium heat, and then a side of Perry salted chips. What was the point? You have your own. Thanks. Like I said to you guys at the start, it was going to be a really rubbish eating day because yesterday I showed you guys what I usually eat in a day. But finally, I have a nice... Chinese here and I basically get egg fried rice, chips, noodles and sweet and sour sauce and that's it. My um, friend she is a meat eater and she always gets this Chinese meal so it must be that good <laughs> but it's really really nice. Um, so yeah that is the last meal of the day. I hope you guys all enjoyed seeing what I eat over two days as a vegetarian. I wanted to show you guys that you can eat a healthy foods and you can also eat fatty foods because I know like, sometimes you'll have those cravings where you just want to like indulge so obviously a cooked breakfast going to Nando's and then finishing the day with a massive Chinese like my boyfriend's is huge as well let me show you so this is his so this is absolutely filled the whole plate it's huge so yeah I just wanted to show you kind of like two perspectives of what I usually eat in a day and then if I want to eat fat food if I want to have a rubbish day then this is what I have so make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know if you enjoy these types of videos. Um, if you want to see more of what I eat in a day as a vegetarian, just to give you guys some meal ideas, then I'll happily do that for you. But yeah, comment below if you're a vegetarian, like your favorite meals and stuff like that. And I'll see you guys all next week.